Bonjour. Say bonjour. Maybe bonsoir because it's already the night. Behind us, you can find the biggest restaurant in Europe. It's called... Felicita. No. La Felicita. Felicita. I took a DNA test and I'm 22% Italian. And I'm with Marie. It's me. Marie in Paris. You, you can hear the echo, so let's get inside. Look at this place. This is so huge and it's the biggest restaurant in Europe. You have like a bar with many tables. Here you have a fake train where they make the desserts inside. Fake train? Yeah, it's a real one, but it, 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 can't, it can't work. And here you can walk if you want. It's yes, it's a really good place for co-working. Mm -hmm. What's the name of that in English? We say baby food in French. They have multiple shops inside. It's like a food market. This is already so crowded. It's a Tuesday night, like Tuesday. The place we are inside, it's called the Station F, Station F. And it's like the biggest startup incubator in France or in Paris. At least in Paris. The big part of the, of the place is the incubator. And at the end of it, you can find La Felicita, which is the biggest restaurant in Europe. You can take some photos here. I wanted to eat pizza, she wanted to take pictures. Okay, they are good. Ah uh, ouais! It's crowded and noisy, it's like a party place. And you can eat pizza, pasta, tiramisu, all the classic Italian food. And the good thing in La Felicita is that you can order on the QR code and you can take food from many different restaurants inside the food market and eat at the same table as your friend. It's like a big cafeteria. What can we find here? We can find some cocktails or wine, but I don't drink wine and cocktails. Mm -hmm. Water, keep it. As it's part of a startup incubator, you can find like teenagers going with their friends and businessmen having a work lunch. Businessmen like you? Yes, and we are businessmen like and women. You. We need to find a place, a table. Where? Well, uh, there are a lot of people. It's so, so beautiful. It's not very expensive. Pizza, 9 euros. 9 euros, 9 euros for the pizza, it's okay. Okay, it's Italian, but they also make burgers. Not really Italian. You have to check with the QR code and you take your food out of each of the restaurants. With the QR code, you can check the app and you can see how many orders you have to wait to get your own. Like for the pizza, it's like 23 orders before us. We're gonna take pasta, we're gonna take pasta. I choose the pasta truffle for 1989 euros. And I choose pasta with tomatoes and stracciatella and basil. No, we have to wait, but it looks really quick. We don't wait too much. And we have the food. Yum. The truffle pasta here. I put a lot of parmigiano on it. The tomato pasta with stracciatella mm -hmm. at the bottom. The truffle pasta looks delicious. You can see that they are al dente. You can chew it a little bit, it's not too soft. It's perfect. So yummy. So you have basil, tomato sauce and stracciatella at the bottom. Yes. A little stracciatella. Not that much. How is it? So good, al dente. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing with La Velicita. But after 9 p.m. it becomes like a party place with karaoke, live shows. So it's a bit noisy. You have to be ready for that. I never, I never try. Truffle pasta, never. So it's your first time? Yeah. How is the truffle? It's good, but I prefer this. I have the truffle, parmigiano on it. The truffle pasta are really nice. I miss a little bit of cream. I would like to have some sauce or cream on it. It's a bit dry. It's not the best truffle pasta I tried in Paris, but it's still doing the job. It's good pasta, like the texture is really nice, but I would like some cream on it, you know some truffle cream, it would be just perfect. Okay, I put the mic here because it's a bit noisy in La Felicita. Let's practice your English, Marie. Yes. Okay, Marie, we met at the premiere of the season three of Emily in Paris. It was like December 2022. We made also a series on Instagram, Theo and Marie in Paris, because you look like Emily in Paris, you look like Lily Collins. You're a YouTuber. How old were you when you started making videos uh -oh. on YouTube? In my parents at Dijon. <laughs> How old? Ah, okay. Your age, not where you were. You were 14 years yes. old when you started making videos on YouTube. You were in your parents' house in Dijon, like the mustard. You know the Dijon mustard. Ah. There is a city. They named the city after the Dijon mustard. No, that's that's the opposite. We hear 
We are the karaoke. Do you want to sing after? Oh, no, I'm not a good singer. Like, I never do karaoke. When I'm invited at karaoke, I'm the worst guy. Like, I, I just stay seated on the sofa. I just listen to people, but I don't sing. I'm the worst on it. You made videos on YouTube since you're 14, and now you are... I'm 22. You're 22, oh. and you never stopped. It's a, it's a passion. It's a passion. I'm very lucky to, to do this work, because mm. it's my work today. When I was younger, when I was a teenager, I was making videos on YouTube and I was like putting a lot of videos out for six months and then stop for six months. Just like that, just stopping and doing again and retry. I think that YouTube is a better platform yeah. and the better way to share a slice of your life. A slice of life, yeah. I can be myself and I can share a slice of my daily life. It's been just two days I'm making long videos again. And I really feel that I'm just making something I like. Like I'm just talking and feeling something I, that has to, to be shared, you know. And you can keep some memories of your life. Yeah. Like this, this. Mm. On YouTube, you, you will have a memory of our moments. Document and not trade. That's what Gary Vaynerchuk says. He's one of my idols. He's a big businessman making videos since 2008 on every social media. And he said this documents don't create. You have your YouTube channel yeah. with how many subscribers? Oh wow, a lot of people. Yes. 200k on YouTube. Uh, so Wednesday, tomorrow Wednesday, yeah. I will announce to my community that I will make some vlog, daily vlog, I don't know, not every day. You inspire me yeah. to make some video like this. Document and not create. It's less stressful because you create something that comes from your heart. You don't have to plan, you don't have to write something, something completely natural. And that's what I want to create with this channel. I want to make videos that look natural, that are natural and authentic. You know, in three months, you will have a lot of memory of your life. I want to keep making one video a day. In three months, we will have 90 videos. Yeah. I can't wait to be in three, five, six, six months. One year, I can't wait to, to see where we will be uh, all together. And we have to make some vlog together. Yes, we're gonna vlog Enjoy together. Mary and Theo in Paris. Mm. If you want to be part of this journey with us, share the video. You, you and us, we are a team. We're gonna create big things. We can't create big things without taking big actions. Making one video a day is a big action. I believe that. I know that we can make great things together. I know making one video a day on YouTube is the big decision that I had to take. Let's see us in six months. And it's over, it's finished, almost for you. It was really nice, but a bit expensive. 19 euros for pasta, it's too much. But the place is great, even if it's a bit noisy when it's the night. But La Felicita, it's a place you need to try. We are out of La Felicita. It's a good place. It's a bit expensive and noisy. But it's more a place for party and to meet your friends. It's not a place for a date, for example. It's the biggest restaurant in Europe and it's worth the try. And if you want to visit Paris, don't forget to subscribe. I post every day, so see you tomorrow. Au revoir.